This just in. Harley-Davidson has released most of its 2021 lineup and I watched it so you don't have to. The launch was presented beautifully in a video which manages to pack 5 minutes of content into 40 minutes of action-packed excitement. It married the mystery of the ending of Titanic with the drama of a curling match. So here's a breakdown for those of you who want to save yourself some time. The proceedings kicked off with some beautiful cinematography and a spoken word piece that was just cheesy enough for the leather and fringes crowd and melodramatic enough for the 12 year old girl in all of us. Go wild. Doesn't matter. As long as you. Go. This was followed by a 25 second introduction from Aquaman which looked like it was filmed by one of his kids with a shaky phone in front of his Christmas tree. Easiest money he ever made. Hope he uses it to buy himself a hairbrush. Next, Harley CEO Johann Zeiss channeled Hans Gruber for 3 minutes as he talked about his passion for classic American motorcycles and tried to look relatable. The rest of the video was heavy on feelings and light on facts as the MoCo leaned hard on its heritage, even bringing in Bill Davidson, great grandson of one of the original founders, William A. Davidson. And I'm Karen Davidson, great granddaughter of William A. Davidson. Then there was more beautiful cinematography, some touching personal stories, and lots of natural sounding playful banter. Talking about this makes me want to hop on the bike right now. Do you want to you wanna go or I what mean, do you think? We... Of, nah? <laughs> afterwards. Next, Maybe afterwards. later. Okay. <laughs> the video ended up being a brilliant piece of corporate content, managing to stay free of pesky elements like introducing new models, discussing discontinued ones, highlighting new technologies, and planning for the future. There was, however, a fascinating segment on Harley Davidson apparel. Did you know that Harley also makes t-shirts? It was slightly less edgy than Biden's inauguration and could frankly have benefited from a Justin Timberlake musical number. The details? The street models have met their maker as they were probably just too popular to keep around. Harley could no longer tolerate these bikes overshadowing their air-cooled and more traditional stablemates. Also slashed is the Sportster Roadster, sending a clear and unambiguous message that modern touches like inverted forks and dual discs will no longer be tolerated in Milwaukee. As expected, the FXDR Breakout, Deluxe, Street Bob and Lowrider are gone. But surprise, the Street Bob is resurrected in prettier new colors with a 114 engine, instantly making it the best deal on a Harley across the lineup. Harley has even gone above and beyond and included a passenger seat and pegs, giving the rider a choice of leaving them on for practicality or taking them off for that I didn't get much for my money look. Seriously though, this is the best deal on a big twin so put down your deposits soon. Now, why don't all of the big twins have a 114? In other news, cable clutches are back as the hydraulic ones kept breaking down. Some touring Harleys get cool new wheels, um, new stereo? And did we mention new colors? Oh, and the new Pan America will be introduced in a month. And news on the custom? I'm sure it's still coming. Harley would never cancel a bike they already promised. So in summation, HD chopped almost a third of its lineup, introduced the Street Bob 114, put some pretty paint on its bikes to replace the pretty paint from last year, reminded us of their heritage, showed us some pretty parts of the United States, put some millennials in the video to show us they're trying to appeal to a younger demographic, released no new bikes that would appeal in price or performance to a younger demographic, and forced me to sit through a 40 minute video full of sound and fury. Signifying nothing. You can put a bow tie on a turd, but that doesn't make it a truffle. So let's hope it's not out, out, brief, candle for the MoCo. What do you think of the launch? Is it enough to stave off the Reaper? Harley's share price moved hardly at all, which is not a good sign. They may once again have to buy back a few of those shares. Am I being unfair? Feel free to vent in the comments with your take on the extravaganza that was the virtual launch 2021. Cheers and ride safe. If you're interested in any of the gear that Brooke and I wear or use, or the camera equipment we use to film this channel, the links are below. Everything listed there was bought with our own money and we are not sponsored by any company. However, the links below are affiliate links and the channel is paid a small amount for referring you to shop at no additional cost to you. We do not recommend any products that we are not satisfied with ourselves, but we do strongly urge you to do your research and select the correct size for items like helmets and clothing. 
As always, thanks for watching, your support is greatly appreciated. Please hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And whatever you ride, enjoy it. Wave at other bikers no matter what they're riding, we're all part of a brotherhood and sisterhood. Keep the rubber side down, shiny side up and may the spokes be with you.